Thank you very much. Story has a lot more legs to it. We got to keep our eyes open for that. And next up, as spring break kicks into high gear, two more shark attacks are reported off the coast of Florida on Monday. And this is researchers track a massive shark migration along the state's south shore. Thousands swarming near crowded beaches. And joining us now is one of those researchers, Dr. Stephen Kajera. And Doc, you are the professor at Florida Atlantic University Shark Lab. You've been studying this for years. So what's going on here? Sure, so for the past seven years, I've been flying an aerial survey from uh, Miami all the way up to Jupiter along the coast here, counting the numbers of sharks that occur really close to shore. And what happens is massive numbers of black tip sharks form large aggregations very close to the beaches, right at the same time when we have a lot of spring breakers coming down here and a lot of people spending their winters down here in South Florida. Why are they coming so close? Well. One of the uh, explanations may be that these are not particularly big sharks, five or six foot at the most, and they may be coming in close to shore to get away from the bigger sharks, the big tiger sharks or bull sharks or, or hammerheads. Another idea may be that the uh, black tip sharks are coming in very close to shore here because that's where their, their food is. That's where the little bait fish are. Unfortunately, the fact that the sharks come in so close to shore, uh, that's in the same place at the same time that the, uh, the swimmers are in the water as well. So you've got the potential for interactions between the two. <laughs> interactions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, I, like, I like the way you said that. Interactions, Dr. Kajera. Oh, boy, that's the interaction I don't want. Doctor, thanks very much. Well, Nancy Kerrigan opening up about the struggles to have a baby and how she found hope. Coming up, GMA's tap.